If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No plague shall come near your tent. Introduction Though we are surrounded with a great fear by the rapidly evolving situation of the coronavirus, we need to do our part of prayer and fasting. We can be rest assured that we have a Father in heaven who is with us always. We walk the way of the cross each year with our Lord Jesus, and yet, with every step, we are taught something new about us and about God. We have suddenly realized the value of all that we took for granted and never appreciated including the joy of seeing one another when we come to worship as one family. We are now spread far and wide, yet as faithful warriors of Christ. We walk together in spirit. We pray together in spirit. This Friday and every Friday of Lent, let us strengthen our spirit by fasting and penance to overcome the virus threatening our lives. As we reflect on the stations of the cross, let us implore God's mercy on us to halt the spread of the coronavirus and heal those who are suffering and make us stronger in mind, body, and faith. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As Pilate shows, the law can be used as a weapon against the weak. Jesus stands with those unjustly deprived of their liberty, land, and future. Let us pray. O oh Lord Jesus, the global pandemic that is upon us makes us feel as though the world has been condemned. Give us the courage to not be afraid or be discouraged and to stand firm in our faith and face this epidemic bravely. We pray for all nations and people that have been affected by this invisible enemy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The second station. Jesus is laden with the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because... By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The weight of our cross is only lightened by responding to Christ's invitation to come to him. May our own way of the cross lead us to him. Let us pray. O oh Lord Jesus, today as we battle this pandemic, we can feel the weight of your cross that you carried on your sacred shoulders. Just as you took responsibility for our sins, give us the grace to take up this cross and take responsibility at a personal level at what has manifested at a collective level. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Each fall of Jesus is a sign of human frailty, but also a foretaste of his resurrection, when he will break the chains of death to bring us salvation. Let us pray. O oh Lord Jesus, today, as we contemplate on your first fall, let us ponder over the failure of men to report and contain this virus that has spread globally. We pray for those who are already infected with this virus that they may receive prompt, effective and compassionate medical care that will restore them to health. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The Fourth Station Jesus meets his Holy Mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your Holy Cross you have redeemed the world. As Jesus proceeds on his way, he meets his mother. What a meeting that must have been! What must have been the compassion of that son for his Holy Mother? Let us pray. O Lord Jesus, we pray for all those who face travel restrictions and cannot come home to their countries and families. We pray for those under quarantine that they might be comforted by your presence and protected from disease, anxiety, and fear. Just as you were close to your son, be close to us, especially those quarantined. O oh, Blessed Mother, in our need, be the help of the hopeless. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The Fifth Station Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Although it seems that Simon is just plucked from the crowd, it is the Father who is sending help to his Son. Those who help others are doing God's work, and we too are called to play our part. Let us pray. 
O Lord Jesus, just as Simon helped you to carry your cross, we pray for protection and grace for all medical professionals all over the world who are courageously treating those infected with coronavirus. May they be shielded, strengthened, and guided as they administer healing treatments and care. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The Sixth Station Veronica Wipes the Face of Jesus We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Veronica sees through the pain and torture to recognize and love the true face of the Savior. She is rewarded with the icon of his suffering impressed upon the cloth of her charity. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus, help us to care for each other, just as Veronica showed compassion to you. Help us to have compassion and act responsibly for each other in the wake of these testing times. We pray your protection over those most vulnerable to this virus, our babies, children, elders, poor, disabled, and those weakened by other health conditions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The Seventh Station Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. His strength fails him, and Jesus falls the second time. Sometimes it is difficult for us to carry on and complete things. We often want to give up and end up falling again and again. Let us pray. O oh Lord God Almighty, we pray that through our failings, you may draw us closer to you, grow our compassion and increase our knowledge. In this hour of unusual crisis, we come to you ask for unusual strength to stand up, defeat this invisible enemy and rise again as one united world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The Eighth Station Jesus Consoles the Woman of Jerusalem We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. For the woman of Jerusalem, the meeting with Jesus is a tearful moment. But amidst the tears of the present, we are called to look forward to the hope of this resurrection. Let us pray. God of mercy, be with the tens of thousands of people who have contracted this virus around the world. Dear Jesus, just as you comforted the woman of Jerusalem, Comfort and console those whose loved ones have died. For it is written, even when the doors of heaven are closed to prayers, they are open to tears. May our tears reach you, O Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The Ninth Station Jesus Falls the Third Time We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus has had enough. He is almost at the place where they are going to crucify him. Yet, he can't get there without falling again. Let us pray. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to remain with us each time we repeatedly fall under the burden of our trials. We pray for those searching for treatments, cures, and vaccines. May you guide them reveal new ideas, and accelerate their discoveries to fight this disease despite repeated failures. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. All that Jesus has taken from him, even the clothes he is wearing, when we work to restore the rights of the vulnerable, we hope to inherit the kingdom of God. Let us pray. O oh Lord Jesus, we pray for those who are stripped of their rights and dignity. We repent for our shameful deeds. We are sorry for what has come upon man. We pray for all those whose lives are disrupted by this epidemic. We pray for families who have been separated and for those whose livelihoods 
have been jeopardized. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The Eleventh Station Jesus is nailed on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus was in terrible and pure agony when those nails were pierced in his hands. Imagine the combined love of God and Jesus for us sinners, God's love to crucify his Son, and the Son's love to die for us. No one understands pain better than God and Jesus. Let us pray. O oh Lord Jesus, today we feel though as though this virus has nailed the whole world. Life has come to a grinding halt. We pray for those communities, areas, and countries hardest hit. Restore their sense of well-being and community. Sustain them, comfort them, and give them hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The Twelfth Station Jesus Dies on the Cross We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The dying of Jesus rewrites the story of death. When confronted with our own death, God is there, in the valley of darkness. He is our light. Let us pray. O oh Lord Jesus, today we pray for all those who are currently battling between life and death. We pray for the thousands of souls who have lost their lives. We pray for the researchers who are tracking the course of this virus, that they may uncover patterns that will help us save precious innocent lives across the world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. 
The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus' body was taken off the cross and placed in the arms of Mary, his mother. Imagine how she must have felt. Lord, we remember all those who have carried the cross in this life and now rest in your peace. Let us pray. We look to you, O God, praying that the spread of this virus will be halted and that many lives might be spared. We pray that through this crisis, you may draw us closer to you, grow our compassion and increase our knowledge. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be the world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. What looks like an ending is in fact a beginning. The death of Jesus brings a new life for us. The virus has not come to end life, it has come to make us reflect on the way we have lived so far and how we have treated nature and other forms of life. Let us pray. O oh Lord God, in the face of death, we have begun to understand and feel for lesser life forms that cannot defend or protect themselves. We are gradually waking up to the reality that the whole world is one family O oh Lord Jesus, give us the grace to bury all of our differences and to act and think like one big family to make choices for the greater good of humanity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The Concluding Prayer Thank you, dear great physician, who not only heals us, but who is a very present help in our time of need, as the Bible tells us that you took up all our infirmities and carried our diseases. Jesus Christ, you traveled through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. At your command, the sick were made well. Come to our aid now, in the midst of the global spread of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. As the world erupts in panic, we turn to you in our special needs. Calm our fears, increase our trust. Whether we are home or abroad, surrounded by many people suffering from this illness or only a few, Jesus Christ, stay with us as we endure and mourn, persist and prepare. In place of our anxiety, give us your peace. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen.